Well, well, thanks for coming, man. So this is what happens, right? I'm hopeful we'll find some uh, common ground. Yeah, there's always hope. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I think that we probably got a joke playing, which I think is terrible, but go ahead. Okay, my, my joke was <laughs> that I'm, He's I'm, proving my point. I'm thinking that what everyone else is thinking, which is how could the two of us possibly come off good after this? Or either of us. Or either of us. Now, is that funny? No. No. Well, thanks for... Well, well anyway, I'm glad to be That's here. how you kill a joke. Well... <laughs> by saying, we, we have a joke that I don't think is funny, well, but let's try it. But, you know, anyway, okay. whatever. Okay, good I'm going to go in the center floor. I don't want to ruin his life. He up. was a good senator, and that's why I'm here. You thought I, I, I covered I up. What did you just say? I really yeah. were. Well, we were friends. Yes, um, were. <laughs> Well, it's it's. There's been a strain are, on it. We are, are friends, but there's yeah. been some strain in terms your of your, part, your politics. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, <laughs> you know. Uh, but let's find some uh, common ground. Uh, for example, uh, Ukraine. We both believe that this is a, in the vital interest yeah, of, Putin of the sucks. United States. That's common ground, right? Yeah. 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 And he should be in jail. How about that? Yeah, Maybe well, not so much on Trump, but definitely on Putin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it, uh, Putin's <laughs> slightly more serious, but there's some serious charges against Trump. Uh, okay. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, there are some Republicans, and we uh, mm -hmm. mentioned uh, yeah. Ron DeSantis, the uh, governor, who right. doesn't agree with, with you and me. Well, you know, it's a free country, but let me just say this. If this is not in our vital interest, what would be? To have a guy invade another country, rewrite the map of Europe by force of arms, does this bring back any memories? Sign an agreement, tears it up. And he's uh, gotten an arrest warrant from the ICC, which has done a great job. And they want to arrest him because he's taken Ukrainian children, kidnapped them for their families, and sent them to Russia. Other than that, this doesn't matter to us. I don't want to live in a world where that crap goes on without punishment. I want him to be punished. Okay. I want him to be defeated. I want the Ukrainians to kick his ass, and I want China to look and see what's coming their way if they're going to Taiwan. I absolutely agree, and I <laughs> and I think President Biden has done an excellent job leading this coalition, and by sharing our intelligence with them at the mm -hmm. beginning, getting the coalition together before the war even started. I think you would admit that was yeah, I'm was trying a great to be, Yeah, I'm trying to be helpful. I think uh, the Ukrainians need F-16s yesterday. I think I would okay. do more on the military front, but we're in it together, right? I want to help the administration where I can. You know, you got Xi and Putin meeting in Moscow. Uh, and that's scary because th that's, we don't want them... Well, but you don't want them, together. you know, aligning together. So I'd like to see Russia become a state sponsor of terrorism under U.S. law because anybody that provides material aid to a state sponsor of terrorism, any nation runs into sanctions. And that would make it harder for China it to ship. It would make it a lot harder. You would ship the ante arms and, to them. So let's make it harder for China to help Russia uh, in a cruel, barbaric endeavor to change the world for the worst. Okay. Now, <laughs> you seem a little critical of Biden for the planes not being there yet, yeah, I think and the tanks should, not right. getting there earlier, yeah. or our tanks not there. The yeah. German tanks are, are, are getting Anybody's there. Anybody's tank, just send a tank. But yeah. you know, <laughs> I, I want to quote some some stuff that Trump said. This is what he told uh, a guy named Sean <laughs> Hanitti. Hanitti. <laughs> I have no idea who he is. Yeah. <laughs> this is what Donald Trump said. This is a war, uh, two weeks after the war started. I could have negotiated. At worst, I could have made a deal to take over something. You know, there are certain areas that are Russian-speaking areas, frankly, but you could have worked a deal. So in other words, Trump at the beginning of the war was saying, like, hey, I could have, I could have yeah. stopped this thing. I could have just given Anybody them the... Anybody speaks Russian, stand up, right? Yeah, yeah. And those, yeah. that reminds me of uh, the Sudetenland. Yeah, that reminds me of a lot of things that didn't turn out well. So how about this idea? Uh, in 1994, uh, when we were much younger, 
Uh, the Ukrainians had 1,700 nuclear weapons left over from the Soviet era. Soviet Union collapses. Um, they give back the nukes to Russia with the understanding that their territory and sovereignty will be uh, respected. And it included the Crimea, Crimea the yeah. 94 map, okay? So now here's Putin years later tearing that up, claiming things not his, uh, warning things because people uh, speak some of the language. So why did Trump? Things. That's a mistake. Say such yeah, a stupid I thing. Well, I'll, I, I, I'm not here to say I agree with that, but when he was president, I thought he did a pretty good job of taking the fight to the terrorists. I really do. He killed, killed Soleimani. He killed Baghdadi. Uh, the Abraham Accords was a big deal. Okay. And uh, there you go. He also kind of was impeached for shaking down Zelensky. Yeah, but... I uh, know on that one you didn't yeah, vote guilty, no, I but... I didn't vote for either one of them, but I'm no. sure there'd be another one coming. Yeah, so <laughs> I think if if he's he's not Y'all can boo me if you want. This will actually help at home. <laughs> I went to New York and nobody liked me is actually the well, I can withstand. Don't that. you like him? Yeah. Don't you like him? <laughs> You're killing yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean the I've survived a lot. <laughs> my, my point is this is what he's saying. This yeah. is what your guy that you want yeah. to be president yeah. said. After the war has started, yeah, I think that's where mistake. my guy, who I want to get reelected, yeah, yeah. had organized the coalition mm -hmm. and started and had stood up and said, no, we're not going to allow this to happen. So I think, uh, yeah, you know, you know. we got 24 election is coming, but I think we got a chance here in the near term, really, with the proper military support continued economic assistance to the Ukraine for the Ukrainians to decimate the Russian army in Ukraine. They just need the weapons to do it. And wouldn't that be a great outcome to a very tragic event? It would be. It, lose. And, yeah. and you talk to some of your other Republican yeah. friends on the other side, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I know yeah, you're we, very we close. Spend, yeah, we, tons of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is I'm a kind of a. The space later laser taken down, but <laughs> we'll see how that works. Yeah, that was a Jewish space yeah. laser, but she said it I was... I always thought it'd be funny to have a laser or a yarmulke on it just flying around. <laughs> Apparently nobody else did, so... <laughs> she has seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay, you asked me during the break what I, I'm doing, and part of what I've been doing is uh, uh, the only former U.S. senator currently on tour tour. <laughs> and uh, when the audiences ask me, they say, who is the funniest... U.S. Senator while you're there, and I always say Lindsey Graham, and they always hate it because yeah. they're my crowd. <laughs> and then I tell them this, when you were running for president in 16... Y'all and... remember that? Yeah, I remember he had... <laughs> you're what, the only you... ones. You were like 2% at one point. Yeah, that was... I peaked. You... <laughs> <laughs> so, one day I go, I go in the Senate bathroom, and I turn to you, and I say, Lindsey, <laughs> if I were a Republican, I'd vote for you for president, and you said... That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. So, you know, when you get our age, you have a lot of time to talk to people in the bathroom. So, uh, and, uh, yeah, that was, that was my problem in a nutshell. The yeah. Al Franken wing of the Republican Party is not as big as you think it would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's... Um... I hope you make it the rest of the week, by the way. Don't you think you'd be a good host? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe if you have a recess week and you're not going overseas, you could do yeah. it for a week. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Okay, let's talk about... Uh, uh, you, you said this week that these charges or this uh, right. charges in, in New York might actually help Trump. What do you mean by that? I think with the Republicans it will help Trump because the Cyrus Vance was the previous prosecutor. He looked at this and said, no, thank you. And the U.S. attorney looked at it and said, no, thank you. And this guy comes along, Alvin Bragg, and he's now going to prosecute Trump, taking a misdemeanor to a felony by merging two statutes that have never been used before. It's in New York, and most people on our side think it's a never-ending effort to uh, take a wrecking ball to Trump. So, yeah, I think it'll help him. Okay, well, let's take another state where there might be a wrecking ball coming for him, and that's in Georgia. Yeah, there's Georgia. Yeah. Don't and know what's going to happen there. 
Uh, no, no, you testified I there. I testified. I was treated well. So yeah. I went you know, I wanted to tell you, I didn't do this. I want to say, like, Lindsay, because at first you fought testifying. I said, yeah. just go there, tell the truth, and you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Didn't I? That's what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you had talked to Raffensperger, and, and part of, yeah. you know, part of this is he talked to Raffensperger on tape. We've all heard the tape. Yeah, he's and he said, people. all I need is 11,780 votes. Mm -hmm. uh, one more than we have one is what he have. said. And then later in the thing said, you better do this. You could get in trouble. You and your lawyer could get in trouble. Now that, that's pretty bad. Well, why don't we wait till it comes out, see what Miss Willis does with the uh, grand jury testimony. If she chooses to indict him and based on what she says, I'll respond. But New York is the one in front of us and we'll deal with that one. But we don't even know that because Trump said it and it may not be true. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> but, uh, but you're right. I mean, Okay, let's talk about this, because Trump, okay. in that tape, I remember, said uh, to Raffensperger, I won Georgia by over 400,000 votes. Now, you know he won the election, uh, he lost the election. You know he lost I the election. Vo I voted to certify the Georgia election for Biden. Yes, I did. Yeah, you voted yeah. to certify. Yes, I did. <laughs> because you would have been crazy not to. I mean, no. the, the that fact... That mean I can't be in the Senate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, there were a number yeah. of your Republican <laughs> colleagues who did not vote to certify. You know this election wasn't stolen. You no. know that Trump lost the election, No, right? when, when I see Biden, I call him Mr. President. But that's different. <laughs> that's different than acknowledging Well, that. I voted on the floor of the Senate to certify the results of the 2020 election. And here's the question for you and maybe others. Um, Trump's trying to come back. I think he's got a better than good chance of winning the primary and a 50-50 chance of being president again. And, and you got to ask yourself, <laughs> now this is what we all came here for. <laughs> right. So you got to ask yourself, how can that be? Well, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> here's what I, well, I can here, ask you to ask here's what yourself, I know about can... this country, about this democracy, right. about our constitution. Right. The, the, the number one tradition that's meaningful in this country is the peaceful transition of power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You voted to certify. Mm -hmm. We, from everything that's come out, we know that Lindsey Powell was lying. Sidney Powell. Uh, Sidney, sorry. Sidney Powell. <laughs> uh, Giuliani was lying, that he was told over and over again by his, anyone who was, had any credibility, he lost, that there was no Bill Barr. Every, mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody. How then can you want a guy who allowed us to go through this violent insurrection Really? To be president again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just say this. The other side of the story is that when President Trump was president, on the things that I care the most about, national security, I thought he did a damn good job. He got the Abraham Accords, um, which is probably the biggest change in my lifetime in the Mideast, where uh, Arab nations recognize Israel and we're trying to work on Saudi Arabia on the Biden's watch. Uh, he killed Soleimani, who's a guy who should have been killed a long time ago. He secured our border. Uh, he made us energy independent. So I look at the policies of Trump and I like the policies of Trump. And at the end of the day, he's got to prove to people, not me, that he's able to lead us again, and that will be a challenge for him, and that'll be a challenge for Biden to say, give me four more years after the last four. We'll see what happens. Well, <clears throat> I think Biden wins that, but we don't Let's have bet. to say yes. Can we no. bet? Yeah, how much? 20 bucks. <laughs> to be paid here. See, the other eight hosts asked me to come on your show. <laughs> They're trying to knock you out. So okay. no, uh, uh, there'll, be, <laughs> there'll be a permanent host, and it won't be me, but it'll be somebody. And, but I mean, here's the thing: Th this guy just well, he, he pardoned all these these criminals. 
I mean, and that's who you pardon, I guess. <laughs> but Manafort, <laughs> Stone, Flynn, he, and he's going to populate I, his I, new I, administration with crooks I'm if he wins. I'm going to give you my two cents worth. It won't be about what, who he pardoned, it'll be about can he make things better for the people who feel like things are not going well. Can he secure a broken border? Can he lower inflation? Okay, let's talk Can about the border. Safe? Let's talk about the border. Okay. Uh, you and I worked on, you were one of the mm -hmm. gang of eight yes. in 2013. And every gang you can be in, just about. Yeah. This is in 2013. Right. We passed 68, with 68 votes 68. in the Senate, Go comprehensive the immigration exactly right. uh, camp, uh, uh, reform. Right. Comprehensive immigration campaign uh, uh, reform. And I thought yeah. that was a great bill. I did too. And I think we need that. You, you, I've heard you say recently we, we, have, uh, we don't have enough workers in this country. We need immigration reform because we're a declining population, right? People like me, are, I'm not married, I don't have any kids, I'm screwing it up for the rest of you. So the bottom line is that we need to get a workforce that's more reliable, let people come here and work and make it a win-win. We need to secure a border. We need to open up America to, uh, to merit-based immigration from all over the world. And I've always believed that. We need to get our debt under control. That's going to take bipartisanship. But get back to the point. You've got to come to grips with the idea. A lot of Americans believe that Trump was a good president, but they don't like what he did or what he said. And this is going to be a real contest in 2024. <laughs> it will be a real contest, my friend. Well, I think they're, the Florida governor is going to make it a real contest. But in, uh, in yeah, the... no, we got a deep bench on our side. We have a deep bench. <laughs> And if so you're a do Republican. we. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I made I, him speechless. This is a highlight of my life. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> I just think this guy is, I mean, okay, I'll say it. I just think he's a pathological liar. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and I don't mean to be harsh because I know he's your friend. Well, it's all and right. A, and a malignant narcissist, <laughs> and uh, and he he chose some good people to be in his administration at first, but it seemed like as those guys went, those men and women went, he brought in worse and worse people, and I just uh, I I don't know how the American people are going to reelect this well, guy. I, I understand the MAGA voters. But are it's still not loyal. just about MAGA voters, because don't take this wrongly. He can survive your criticism. <laughs> He's going to be, Al Franken is down on Trump, is not the end of Trump. So here's what's going to happen. If Biden doesn't secure our border quickly, the people who took over Afghanistan are going to come back our way. We're living on barred time between the rise of radical Islam in Afghanistan and a you're, you're completely that open border. The Taliban is going to provide. I'm saying cover ISIS for Al Qaeda. Uh, yeah, again, that's what General Crowley ISIS. said. Yes, that's what he said two days ago, three Crowley. days ago. Okay, well, uh, all detail. You know, uh, Obama started against ISIS. Trump. It was finished during the Trump administration. Although I don't like the way Trump sold out the Kurds. Well, he, there, we still have troops there. No, he wanted to get out, but I went and said, uh, you know, they'll come back. Mr. President, the Kurds, the Syrian Democratic And forces, also didn't... But he left them in. Trump wanted to leave Afghanistan sooner. Yeah, but uh, he didn't, and Biden did, and I went to Biden, and I went to Blinken and Sullivan and said, if you'll keep a force there, I'll stick with you, give you whatever support I can from the right. But they chose poorly. So this election is going to be a big deal election about national security, uh, how we're doing here domestically, how safe are we, how prosperous are we. You know, this whole defund the police stuff blew up in Democratic friends' face. And we'll see what happens in that 2024. Was not, that was not something that any percentage of uh, of Democrats really believed in. That was actually the Minneapolis City Council who did that <laughs> after George Floyd yeah. and uh, put out a thing to defund the police. That was... I know there's nothing funny going on right now, but it is important between me. Listen, I know you, you, you think Trump's horrible for the country, and a lot of people believe that he can fix the problems that we're suffering under now. But here's the good news. We'll have an election, and they will decide. Yep. That's it. That's the way it's supposed to work. Yes.